Hello there, here we're going through June 2019, paper one. Here we're going through question one. So in question one, this is the function for f of x, and we're given that x plus three is a factor of f of x, and we want to find the value a. So uh, by the factor theorem, by the factor theorem, and it's sensible to write all of this um, out, uh, f of minus three, will equal zero. It's the root of the bracket that will equal zero when you substitute it in, because when you um, replace x with minus three, that will make this bracket equal zero, so then the whole thing will equal zero. So that's what it means to be a root or a factor. Okay, so therefore, f of minus three equals three, lots of minus three cubed plus 2a lots of minus 3 squared minus 4 times minus 3 plus 5a equals 0. So um, minus 3 to the power of 3 is minus 27 times by 3 is minus 81. And then it would be add 18a, add 12, add 5a. That will equal zero. So now let's tidy this up. Uh, the a's is going to be 23a. And then if we move the 81 and the 20 and the 12 onto the side, so that'll be add 81 onto the side, but then take away 12, that'll be down to 69. And then if we then divide through by 23, we're going to get a equals three. So there we are, that's the answer for this question here. Three marks for that one. So clearly stating the by factor theorem, f equals my, f minus three equals zero. That's a really key mark there. And then showing that you're substituting it in and then working out what a to be is uh, three. So there we are, that's the answer for question one. Let's move on to question two.